Okay, uh, per request, I'm going to put my spin on the subject that's been covered widely over the years of installing the cam sensor. First thing you have to do is rotate the engine at 25 degrees after top dead center. You will see that, that pink mark. That is 25 degrees after top dead center. Here's a piece of paper that comes with a Casper's tool to determine that. 25 degrees after top dead center. Once that has been determined, take note of the shaft. Okay? These guys got to line up. But you can't put it in there exactly the way it goes because of the way the teeth are cut. So you have to advance it just a little bit. So I'm going to guess about like that. And then you're going to push it down in there and hope that it seats. And chances are it's not going to seat without a little bit of persuasion because of that O-ring. So let me pause it and I'll be right back. All right, I got it down in there. Yes, it took a little bit of persuasion. The O-ring is a pain in the butt. Um, if it doesn't go all the way down in there, don't beat on it until it continues. Uh, you'll break it. Um, you just might have it off a tooth. It's an experience thing. It's a feel thing. It's no different than a distributor. Um, so I am going to mechanically time it right now. And you can see the notch in the body which lines up directly across from the uh, pickup. Now that pickup could be off a few degrees, so this is just a mechanical timing. This is gonna make it, this will be enough for it to start, because uh, it's gonna use a stock module on the run stand, so it will sink. Um, if you're gonna use a TR6, it's probably not gonna sink, because it's picky. Um, you can use, if you can get it close enough to run, you can fine tune it in with the TR6. Uh, you can fine tune it in with XFI if you have that. You can fine tune it in with the ECUGN if you have the current update and the, the latest update in the firmware, I believe. Um, so this is just a you know this is just for the stock model. So I just draw a line across and I eyeball it. That's pretty much straight on. And then I just advance it a skosh. About like that. Okay, now I'm gonna lock that down cap's going to sit on it like so. The cap is sort of kind of facing towards the left front. The, I think the factory manual wants it to face like that. It really doesn't matter, guys. It can be facing over there uh, as long as the, the pickup, the reluctor, and the base are in the right, uh, are in the right phase. Uh, you also want to make sure that you are on the correct stroke because you can be 25 degrees after top dead center on two different strokes. Um, so, I've already verified that because I just adjusted the valves on this thing. But just make sure it's not 180 out. Uh, follow everything that I said. Like I said, um, this has been beat to death over years. A lot of information out there. This is just my take on it. Don't take anything as gospel. Enjoy.